गाइज व्हाट्सअप इट्स जुनेद हेव एंड इट्स टाइम फॉर रिव्यू वीडियो फॉर हुआ वे पी नाइन लाइट सो एज यू गाइज नो दैट इट्स बीन सम टाइम दैट आई हैव बीन यूजिंग हुआ वे पी नाइन लाइट द लेटेस्ट सिचुएशन ऑफ हुआ वेज मिड रेंज लाइन अप बिफोर आई गो हैड आई वुड जस्ट लाइक टू टेक लुक एट द हार्डवेयर ऑफ दिस डिवाइस इन सम टेक्निकल स्पेसिफिकेशन इट्स थिनर दैन द प्रीवियस मॉडल बट लॉन्गर इट हैज डिजाइन डेमेंट्स ऑफ द लास्ट ईयर मॉडल बट इम्प्रूव ऑन दैम ड्रास्टिकली टू गिव दिस कॉर्जियस पीस ऑफ डिजाइन द कॉल क्वालिटी इज ऑल्सो अमेजिंग ऑन दिस डिवाइस um the callers told me that i sounded really clear and loud and i could also hear them very loud and clear so no problems there now let's talk about technical specifications here it has 5.2 inch ips lcd display um which is 1080 by 1920 screen resolution and it has a pixel density of 424 ppi which is incredible and no one at this display is so sharp so clear and so rich in colors so it's really great it's running emotion we have 4.1 on top of marshmallow it's running on octa core processor high silicon current 650 it's in house huawei's processor really fast really good 16 gb of internal storage however you get around 10 gbs which is i think really poor it comes in two variants of ram 2 or 3 gb 13 megapixel back camera 8 megapixel front camera so it also has a fingerprint sensor you guys know that right and 3000 mAh battery which is up from 2200 from the last year and micro usb port version 2 it's an absolutely crispy and gorgeous screen text appears really crystal clear and this unit really really gets bright but not bright enough in sunlight but i still consider that this is one really good screen and wow is really done an amazing job with this lcd panel however if we talk about the camera it really is points i really don't like the camera the photos are dull the lack color and if you compare it side by side with some of the samsung devices uh, you're going to just load this camera i'm not going to pamper it the camera is not good so if you're buying this device for the camera don't just don't don't get me wrong it's not a bad camera but when you compare it with the competition uh, there are better camera smartphones out there in the same price range however if camera is not your priority and you're not really looking for a camera specifically this device go for it now it also has a fingerprint sensor and they have put it on the back which i think is the best position to put a fingerprint sensor except when the device is lying down and back is towards the table it gets really difficult to turn the screen on because if you go here you really don't know how to turn the screen on except you pick up the device and then you put your finger on the fingerprint sensor and then you can turn it on what i like the most about this type of scanner is the practicality it provides by the time you pick up the device and holds up to use the device is already unlocked and ready to use and after some time it really becomes your second nature muscle memory to be exact and as soon as you pick up your device your finger goes to the scanner and within moments your device is unlocked so it's like it was never locked in the first place Uh, ease of going from a screen off lock device to screen on and unlock one but just tapping the scanner is really mind blowing i will love it the emotion ui has matured a lot it's now one of the most good looking futuristic looking android skins out there and it's true that it takes a lot from ios but the implementation is been really really beautiful and it doesn't look like a cheap copy of ios the translucent background lack of app tray and almost identical settings app the minds of iOS but then it's an android device and with that it brings a lot of customizations as well it takes a lot from samsung as well there are battery optimization scrolling screenshot and option to minimize screen or safe mode all of this reminds you of samsung and once again huawei has done a great job at implementing these features i'm extremely happy to report that emotion ui is one flying horse from playing games to switching apps and using resource intensive apps the software just flies i guess the 2gb on board ram also helps with it um it has yet to slow down on me it has not slowed down i have not had any problems with it it has not lagged it has not hung so let's talk a little bit about the battery now because if the phone doesn't have enough juice it's useless right so The great thing is that P9 Lite is a champ in that department as well. Again, I made a separate video so you can go ahead and watch it. I'll put it in the links for a detailed battery review. But here, I would just like to highlight that P8 Lite last year had 2200 mAh battery, but P9 Lite has made a huge jump and it has 3000 mAh battery, which really contributes and increases the battery performance of this device. and on a normal day at smart battery mode turned on it can easily get you through the day without charging with enough juice left to carry on the next day as well 
however if you're feeling adventurous and turn on the performance mode and push it to its limits it will still get you through the day easily i have been getting somewhere between five to six hours free on time on average uh, shifting between the modes standby time here is exceptional as well overnight it will lose not more than five percent marks on the battery which is best i've seen on many android devices and if you're a power user this chap will get you through the day no problems and if you're in a pinch it has that ultra battery saving mode as well which really you know turns off everything except calling and messaging so you can get through the time and have your basic capabilities intact. Over time that I have used this device, it has really grown on me and I've really come to like it. I think Huawei has really outdone themselves with this one. There is something for everyone here. You get a great screen, a long battery life, gorgeous software to go with it all. But no way is it a perfect device. It has its flaws. I have been mentioning them, but let's conclude them. Although it has a 2GB of RAM, I think RAM management could have been better. I have seen some screen refreshes quite a few times with a lot of RAM free. It also gets really hot while playing graphic intensive games. Charging for some reason is really slow. I don't know what's the reason behind that. But if I have to call the weakest link here, it's definitely going to be the camera on P9 Lite. Well guys, I think that is all there is to it in this video. I hope this video will help you make a decision if you have been sitting on the fence deciding whether to buy or not buy P9 Lite. I hope this video really helps. If you have any specific questions, go ahead, ask away in comments. I reply to all the questions. And let's connect on Twitter. I am on Twitter as well. I will put the link in description. Till then, like this video, share it with your friend. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.